everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Phyllis. Today I'm going to share with you a quick fix DIY. I'm going to replace three vertical blinds in my daughter's apartment, but I thought I'd share some Pinterest pictures. This I can see being recreated using that um, mirror reflective paper glued on poster board. Here is some sheer vertical blinds. They even have the faux wood. I can see recreating those, the faux wood ones by using the peel and stick faux wood contact paper. But in my daughter's apartment, and here comes one more um, Pinterest pick. In my daughter's apartment, here is her blind. It's a privacy issue because that is a big gap, especially at night. Anyone can see that. She is on the bottom floor and then that's her patio. The door lock is not that um, tight, so anyone can open that and look inside. So we're gonna issue um, solve that issue too as well. But I'm gonna be using Dollar Tree poster boards and glue gun and glue sticks to resolve this issue. And this is just a temporary fix. So it's not something that's gonna be beautiful or fabulous, but it's just a temporary fix. And I thought I'd share it with you all because you can actually take this up a notch and use those Pinterest ideas to create the look if you have vertical blinds in your apartment. But here is the video where there's one, two, and you can look at the blue tape and the scotch tape. Looks like somebody tried to do this before she moved in. Um, these blinds were never replaced by the landlord. So I'm just going to do something quick. I put this board up there the night before um, just so it can be closed. I also had a board in that gap, but I took it down. I'm going to use it as a template to cut out some strips so that I can create some um, temporary slats. Now this is how the blinds are held. You push it up and snap close these little clips that's already on the blinds. Now here again, I'm using the board that I put up there the night before, and I'm gonna use that as a template. This is the poster board that I cut in strips, and on one poster board, you can get at least five good strips, and I'm using three together for one slat. So what I did is I laid one slat at one end of the board, one slat at the other end and then I put this one in the middle and I'm going to draw a line where the middle one falls on each board and the purpose of that is that when I get ready to glue it I know the spot to glue it in on the board to lay the middle piece down. And here it is, I've drawn the line. So right where that space is, that little space, that's where the glue is going to be done. So here I'm showing you the three strips, but I started on one already, I've already glued one piece and I'm getting ready to glue the other piece, again using a glue gun. And I'm just putting glue in that little spot and putting this on top. I'm going to bring the camera up so you can see. And I just press it down and glue it to there. Now again, this is just a temporary fix because she needs something up there right now until um, I can do something better. I'm trying to figure out, you know, wait on to see what she wants done. I know she wants some shears up there. Here I'm just putting the slit where the little clip is going to close in on. And I'm also putting glue on the back. This glue is not a permanent thing when it's connected to the clip because the clip is like a plastic piece. So it's it'll be easy to pull it off without breaking the clip when we finally put something up there permanent. And again, here's the clip. It opens up, you slide the blind up there uh, where the little hole piece is and clips. So you're going to see me um, do that right here. and it works perfectly. I will demonstrate by opening and shutting the blinds 
And again, back part of is where that glue is that I pressed, held it there for a few seconds and let go. But here I'm opening the blinds. You can see from the side, the blinds are moving. And I just wanted to make sure, and I would, you know, I knew it was gonna work because again, I'd had the brown board, uh, not board, but brown cardboard up there the night before. But um, I'm just demonstrating and showing my daughter that it does work. When I uh, turn the stick that is on the end, there, um, it's not in the way of the other two blinds on either side of the poster board blind, if that's what you want to call it. Again, this is a temporary fix. This is not something um, that is meant to be very pretty. Right now, my only concern with her being on the bottom floor was a privacy issue. So I wanted to have something done because I'll be going back home soon and I want to make sure that this is done. I'm actually leaving tomorrow morning and I want to make sure that there is no issue where this is concerned. I'll be also resolving the issue of the door um, on the outside. Thank goodness her sliding door locks real securely, but still I, because I'm a mom and then she's female, that's just a concern that we as our parents have for our children, whether they're grown or not. But um, it worked perfectly. And again, there were three slats that I had to fill, one on the end, that gap one, and then one on the end where the stick is. And it all turned out great. And she was very pleased. Here, I'm gonna demonstrate again um, in opening the blinds that there is no issue. That line that's right, that's real white, that's the poster board too as well. So it's one on the very, very end. And then of course, filling in the gap. And then one on the very end uh, towards the left. So this one that's next to me, then the one that's filled the gap, and then the one that's on the opposite end. But it all came together. And again, I thought I would just share this with you because um, it was simple, quick, and easy, and you can take it up a notch by using some ideas pulled off of Pinterest. And I want to thank you all for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching. JRC Restoration, Decor, and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day, everyone.